vlogs here. Okay, so I hope y'all are feeling good today because, hang on, there's smudge marks on my camera. Okay, so <clears throat> sorry, I feel like crap. I really, I, just, I thought I just heard something behind me. Oh well, I feel like crap. I hope y'all are f feeling good today. Because I don't. So today I'm going to be doing a review on my H100 RC racing boat. Dang, why not keep hearing something? So, yeah. <clears throat> and here it is. <clears throat> Sorry, it looks so messy. Over here, we're in the process of rebuilding a room. As you can see it over there. So, today I'm going to go run this boat. So, right here is the boat. So, it's a pretty good size because there's my hand and my hand's pretty big though so here's the boat itself it had it's brushless powered boat I really like the uh, back of it because it's just cool because it is not like a crappy cheap old uh, R rotor and rudder and prop system it it's just driven shaft i gotta oil the shaft before i run it today because last time <clears throat> yesterday i was on hangouts with um max vlogs and we were talking until we got to the lake and the boat started up and it made a crinkling sound because I forgot to lube it and it wouldn't work so I'm gonna polish the boat in a second so there's the charger there's a red light when you plug it up and there it comes with a stand too and it has a water cooling system and I will show y'all the inside of the boat, but I'm just going to get through the controller, batteries, and all that. So for the charger, you're going to have to have one of these blocks. Pods. To charge. So, yeah, that's just the charger. It takes about 50 minutes to charge, and you get about 10 minute run time. So here are the batteries. It is a lithium ion 600 milliamp 7.4 volt battery. And I just got an extra one. I just wrote a PC on it because I have a computer. I don't know why. So, yeah. I just bought two batteries for it. You can get these off of Amazon. It's a Skype. Just type up SkyTech H100 RC Speedboat. So, yeah, here's the controller. <clears throat> That's when you turn it on. It has a thing where you push the throttle up. As you see, as I push the throttle up, it tells you how fast you're going. Like, have throttle one percent and all that so you got the left trim right trim throttle trims throttle trim to the left throttle trim to the right left right this this up and down doesn't matter right here just left right forward backward that doesn't matter and doesn't work so yeah, and all these buttons down here are just decoration. 
And these are decoration too. Power switch, antenna, blah blah blah. That's just my initial. <coughs> so, I'm going to show y'all the inside of the boat. Da, da, da. You have to turn the, this knob. Dang it. Turn the knob. Open the cover. Set it right there. Here is the inside of it. You stick the battery. I'm going to just grab this one. You stick the battery in like that. It's supposed to clamp in there like this, but I really don't feel like doing that. I'm kind of lazy. This is bothering me. Okay. So yeah, the inside of the boat, there's the engine. There's the water cooling system is right there. <coughs> and it's where you hook up the battery. And this is the receiver. This is just the wire that connects to the engine, to the receiver, to that, to the controller and all that. So yeah, that's pretty much it about this boat. So if you want to get one, just type in on Amazon or the website, wherever you get it, H100 RC Speedboat. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video, so please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.